Welcome back to our channel. This is Brie and Scott, and we are gonna clean a chicken butt. Yep. <laughs> Literally, that's what we're doing. Went out this morning, and one of the chickens has like, like I guess, just runny poop, and it's really gross. Let me turn it around. She got we, that, that skunk butt. Yucky chicken butt. And so we're just gonna clean her up, and, uh, Hopefully, and give her some like su some supplements and stuff to, to help her. Normally, you'd install a bidet in the in the barn <laughs> no. to flush those feathers at night while they it's, sleep. It's but, not too you know, hot, is it? No, it's lukewarm. It's just lukewarm. It's okay. lukewarm. I don't know if she's gonna fit in there. There's not much water in there. I didn't know how much water you wanted in there. Right, let me see if I can do this. She's like, "What is going on?" She did not sign up for a no. a bath. <laughs> do we need paper towels? Um, I got a rag. Okay. Look at that sweet chicken. Yeah, I don't think she's sick. Sick. Eli she's was all concerned she was sick. sick. He goes out there for five minutes in the day. I think maybe they're not getting dust baths and they... Yeah, they've been... Because it's been wet. Let's see. Did we... Yep, you got it. She's wet. She's dripping wet. Let's give her that full spa treatment. How's that? Do you like it? In this episode of Pampered Bird. <laughs> you see, any... see, her vent looks good. <laughs> She's not fighting much. No. She <laughs> likes her spa day. Wow, it's hard. Big hard clump here. Well, what's going on here? She's like, I don't want my butt in uh, social you should be media. Normal. <laughs> yeah. Here, sit back down. You be hard butt. She has a really Went hard viral. clump. Yeah, She's no. all cleaned up and ready to go. We're just gonna put some outside vinegar, oregano oil, uh, maybe garlic inside their water, so they're all getting that, just to help them through whatever it is. I honestly think it's because of the temperature changes. We've having such drastic temperature changes today. It's gorgeous. It's like, what is it? 60. 60, close or whatever. Oh, she's kind of shaking. It's really cold now. Uh, but last week it was like in the 10 teens. below. Yeah, 10, or yeah, with the windchill, it was like below zero. So crazy temperature changes. And I believe that has a lot to do with maybe how her body is responding to it. But I think she's okay because she's alert. She's eating and she's drinking. Seems good. All right, let's go put her back. Are you ready to go back to your flock? She's wet. Oh, go find a dust bath somewhere. We're starting to get some more eggs. I'm so excited. We have one right here, and yesterday we got five. I think Scott got one this morning. Um, yesterday we got five, which is a lot because we were getting like one or none for a while there. And one of the eggs is dark. It was like a dark chocolatey color with speckles on it, and I think it's one of the new Morans. I'm kind of thinking. Unless our blue Moran started laying again, but she didn't typically have very much speckles to her eggs. So unless they start laying like different color eggs, like different types of eggs as they mature, I don't know. But we could have had our first red Moran egg laid. I don't know, but it was super pretty. I was super excited. I always do a check in both sides of the coop, make sure there's no eggs on the ground. And then I also go and check in the goat side over here to see if anybody laid in the hay uh, feeder or on the ground. So we are Americana hen. She tips, typically lays on the ground. I don't know why, but a lot of times it ends up getting broken. And yesterday I came in here and there was a broken egg underneath the chicken or the goat's uh, feed bowls. So um, somebody keeps laying over here and I really would wish they all go over and lay in the nesting boxes, but some of them, I guess, just like the goat side. I am dumping out their water bins and refilling it with fresh water and adding some apple cider vinegar. If you can tell, I also have some garlic, chopped up garlic pieces in it. And I'm also gonna put, where's my other thing? A couple drops of oregano essential oil in it. So I'm gonna stay on top of this if it's just the temperature change, but we're just gonna give all the immune boosting things we can do because we wanna keep our chickens healthy. Right, chickens? They say, what do you have? What do I have? Well, first I gotta dump this out. Excuse me. Ouch. Pecking at me. Oops, sorry. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this. So I can do that through the fence. Save some for the other one. Are you gonna help me? You blowing bubbles? Oh, we popped them. See that? Let's do a 
drop of oil. Here, let's do two drops. All right, stay healthy, girls. Mommy, Looks like the wind mommy, blew mommy, off our shade cover. Mommy, Gotta fix that. I see what? Are you showing your chickens the bubbles? girls oh look at the chickens dead to your water is that your fault miss bard this is our uh molting chicken from the well, last video she's doing a lot better i don't know if you can see her feathers are starting to grow back the one she lost and uh we did end up bringing her in for a couple days and uh put her back outside and look at her now she's doing much better and these two want some attention. Yeah. I gotta go get you guys some treats. I don't have any in my hands right now. I know, you're asking for them. Yeah. And you guys knocked your feed bins over. Yep, I see you guys have been busy. <laughs> so now that we have nicer weather, I'm gonna get in here in the barn and see what I need to do, like clear out some of this bedding um, that has been just really used. It doesn't look actually that bad. I guess the chickens must be mixing it well because it's really deep so they might, might be mixing it. Um, I guess it's kind of turning into like the deep litter method over here um, on this side, on uh, the goat side, which is okay I guess as long as it doesn't get stinky. But yeah, not not too bad over here and the goats are asking me why I did not bring them treats. Why did you not bring treats mom? Well what do you know? Look what's in the goats. Hey feeder, it's an egg, and that looks like a bill of feather egg. <laughs> Who laid an egg in your, your feeder? All right, it is the next day, and as you can see, the weather is not as pretty as it was yesterday, but we are gonna go check on our little hen. She seems to be doing fine. Scott, <laughs> Scott did the animals this morning and he said she's fine she's not doing anything unusual so we're gonna go check on them we're supposed to be getting some severe storms this afternoon so we're just gonna make sure everything's okay out in the chicken area in the barn area before this storm rolls in and check on our little hen yeah super cute all right so we have two Bard rocks over here, and we have four together, and then the one that's lost the feathers. And then there's one inside of the run that I think that's the one that had the nasty booty. So she seems to be doing okay. Hi, girl. She's like looking around, pecking and getting food and stuff, so she seems to be okay. And there's our little Bard port Bard that's getting all her feathers back. She started a molt last week during the a really bad storm. All right, everything looks to be okay out here. We gave the goats some more hay a little bit earlier and because they'll probably be spending more time inside the barn. It is starting to rain already. One thing I do want to do because in the spring here we get lots of rain is make a little uh, goatee sized door <laughs> on their door so we can keep the main door closed because what happens is the rain comes on an angle and it gets into the barn and into like the hay area and then starts to get our hay wet so ideally i want like a smaller size door so the goats can get in and out as they please without it getting our hay wet so i uh, we might be making like a little goaty door at some point yeah. okay i think we should put them in the barn they got full tummies because all that hay let's put you back in the barn squeeze. It's, yeah so we're gonna close them up for this severe storm so our hay yeah. doesn't get wet. Okay. You gonna help? Yeah. Okay, why don't you guys walk in and try to get the goats in and I will shut the door. Come here, <laughs> She's like, nope. <laughs> Come on, Jade. Go, Stella. Jade is usually way easier to get in than Stella. You like our tarp job? 
when the weather started getting colder we just tarped over the wire over the door and we all, that's all we've done it's been working so far the goats are not happy about being locked in Got it. let's see if we can see him in here i don't think we will be able to do you hear them they say we don't want to be locked in here it's all right chickens their water's still good have to replace it after it rains add more supplements to it Rhode Island Reds they're filling out real nice so pretty I gave them some scraps earlier that's why we got some lettuce and stuff mashed potatoes they love mashed potatoes all right that is it we're gonna run inside and I think the animals will, will be fine during the storm. Guys, this weather is so crazy in the winter time. One day it is sunny and nice, and the next day we're having severe thunderstorms and tornadoes and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I uh, hope everybody's staying safe, and we'll catch you on the next video. See you soon. Oh, it's getting hot.